Hey guys, uh, I just finished my Minecraft 3x3 3D printer and uh, it's fully autom automatic so you can set each layer and it prints them all. It took about two days to make and I built it on my server so I hope you guys like it. For some reason Fraps has been recording all weird lately so I hope this doesn't lag too much. Alright, so here's the board and this is where you set the layers, so we're just gonna set we're just gonna build a, a little red and white box. So here's the layers and we wanna print to well we wanna print to layer one and three right now because one and three are gonna be that design. We just write to layer and then it shows up because we are reading also 1 and 3 so that's why it shows up right there and now we're reading 2 there's nothing in layer 2 and layer 2 want, we want it to be completely red and right here it shows you that on is red and off is white and we're going to write that to layer 2 alright um, we're just going to go over to the actual printer part, make sure I didn't forget to turn it on. Alright, it's on. We're just really quickly going to uh, unjam anything in the printer that's jammed right now. That's what that button does. Alright. Oh. And let's go ahead and hit the print button. Alright, so let's run over there really quick. You can see it printing. See everything moving through. So there's that cross design. And then the second layer, which is what it's building right now, should be all red. Perfect. And then the third layer is an exact replica of the first one, which is that cross design. Alright, there you go. And I'm just going to cut this out and move it somewhere else. About right over here. Alright, so the first layer is the cross design. Second layer is a uh, full red, and then the third layer is the cross design again. So of course each layer you can uh, write differently to you don't have to repeat first and third is the same thing uh, I just did that for the example because it makes the design that I wanted to show which is this present looking box alright I'm gonna have to turn draw distance up so I hope it doesn't lag too much alright so this is kinda how it works uh, really quick run through so here's the board where you set what you want to write and then that's carried out into AND gates right here and those AND gates are only triggered when the layer switch is thrown which lights up this, actually I'm just going to show you really quickly I don't want to walk through the door every time so so we're going to throw a layer switch, layer 1 alright so now that layer 1 is thrown, when we push the button uh, to write to the layer, these blocks will come down, and any layers that it has set to writ write to at the current time, which is lit up right here, that signal will pass through, and uh, basically allow the input to pass through these AND gates, which goes 
directly into memory gates and that memory is uh, put up to the display and it's only allowed to pass through there through these gates so when we have layer 1 selected it will allow that input to pass into the display and it's kind of confusing um, but also that memory is sent down here through a sort of AND gate and this AND gate is controlled by all these repeaters that you see here and this is about as, as small as I could get it um, and this is the reader so it only allows one to pass through at a time starting right here bam and going all the way down the line and at regular intervals so that's right between here it's going to send a new row command another new row command and here it's going to send a layer command and that layer command also triggers a new row command so after this layer now it starts a new layer after this row a new row etc all that goes into two simple AND gates that uh, work as the decoder now there's only two AND gates because we only have two different blocks being used in the printer and all of those go into here so we have our red wool, white wool, pulse, which happens every time any command is sent through, and then the new row and new layer commands. And then that's all put into the printer. And for the printer, I use this pretty compact design. Uh, as you see here, it holds a lot of wool. And then that goes up and, of course, has plenty of sand to push it all down. Those are previous designs, they're not very good. So yeah, all that wool is pushed down into this single point right here, which I have a double piston pushing it into this little belt, if you want to call it, which goes into the printer. So yeah, it took a while to build. Like I said, it took two days, but it was a lot of fun and good experience so thanks for watching i hope you guys like it uh give it a thumbs up comment if you have any questions and subscribe all right see you next time